Hello. We recently spoke to Mark O'Sullivan of PricewaterhouseCooper, one of Europe's leading experts on integrated reporting. We discussed why it's so important that business leaders get up to speed on this subject, which as of yet has no regulatory imperative. So Mark, integrated reporting, why do companies need to bother? It's a good question. I think what companies are experiencing is changing business models, imp improvements in technology, uh, changing expectations externally from key stakeholders, and this will have an inevitable impact on the information that management need to manage the business and consequently what they report. We're already seeing this in the broadening of uh, information being communicated externally and the rapid growth in reporting such as corporate responsibility. Although it's inevitable the speed with which management respond will ultimately be up to them. It will depend on the quality of information they have, uh, where they feel they are on the strategic journey, etc. But there's undoubtedly benefits to be had from doing this, not least just from uh, increasing the number of investors that are looking longer term, but also internally, and I think this is where the, the, the crux of it is, it's really, really about sort of connecting various groups within organisations, better understanding of the strategy and business models, and really improving the quality of information that companies have to manage the business. Okay, so what does integrated reporting look like in practice? It's a good question. I mean, I think uh, integrated reporting means different things for different people, and we've got over a thousand companies claiming that they produce an integrated report. But in reality, most of those, it's about sort of combining the annual report and the corporate responsibility report. The result is um, less about integration and more about an increase in length, what we probably call combined reporting. Uh, integrated reporting for us means sort of three dynamics. One is broadening the content and joining the dots. So it's about sort of adopting many of the content elements, reporting on strategy, KPIs, business models and risks, but also connecting those sort of elements of reporting. Why that's important is from all our work globally it's clear that when we've looked at over 500 companies, companies are very good at reporting on their strategy, over 90% do, but the reality is that only about 30% of them use that strategy to underpin their reporting. When they report about KPIs, only about 90-95% report their KPIs but only 30% align them to their strategy which that disconnected approach to reporting is just one of the aspects that integrated reporting is encouraging. Another is about sort of joining or, or integrating the channels of communication. When you talk about the annual report, the corporate responsibility report, the website, etc., you still get different messages to different channels. And what integrated reporting is trying to encourage is yes, you can report different aspects of information. But underlying that, there's the same thread, the same sort of narrative story. And finally, if you really do embrace the, the thinking behind integrated reporting, then you really are about approaching business performance in a different way, not just about what, uh, what a company produces, and what, how it has performed, but what impact has it had on its key resources and relationships. And that really will define strategic success in the future. Okay, so you've explained the background. Now, tell me about implementation. I think you can start around implementation from sort of two um, angles, really. One, internally. Um, so really that is about management, leadership taking a view that they want to think about the business differently, that they want to implement different management information and manage the uh, business in a different way. I think ultimately that will be the most successful approach. You can also take it from an external perspective. Where do I sit right now? That is very much around, can I benchmark my external reporting, not just the annual report, but reporting in its totality against the IRC framework? That gives you a starting point. Then really it's about engaging with key stakeholders, management and other key stakeholders about well, what information do they need. And out of that really you can create a sort of gap analysis. What do they want? What do I have? And where are the gaps? From that perspective it's then about an implementation um, sort of process. So determining what information is important, where do I get it? What are the systems, processes and controls I have in place to allow me to report externally? Could you tell us about assurance in the context of integrated reporting? 
There's a lot of debate out there at the moment around the current audit assurance model and where it's going in the future. There's no doubt as the boundaries of reporting um, get pushed further and further that management want to ensure that the information they communicate externally is reliable, that can be trusted. And likewise, investors and other key stakeholders want to know that they can use that information appropriately. The current audit model is perfect for a regulatory financial reporting model. The simple black or white opinion, true or fair, works. Um, and indeed, there's greater pressure to provide a little bit more insight around that opinion. We then have areas of the limited assurance opinion where there is some set criteria against which you can say effectively a pass or fail. Have they applied the right criteria? When we move into this innovative area of reporting where there aren't rigid frameworks, there aren't set criteria, then that assurance model can often act as a barrier to innovation. So we think it's about thinking differently around assurance. It's around applying the same mindset but really thinking about, well, can you provide more insight into the quality of information, more narrative to explain where that information comes from. This then allows the user, the investor or other key stakeholder, to form their own view based on how important they think that information is as to whether they trust it, how do they use it, and what other information they need to source. So I think there is some real opportunity out there to think innovatively around assurance and for it to be a catalyst to innovation in reporting rather than a barrier. Mark, thanks very much.